Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pokemaster Pook. We are back again today with some more Pokemon Sleep. This is going to be a bit of a different start to the video here. Um, we are actually going to be uh, doing a quick evolution and changing up the team real quick for the rest of the week. Um, I want to give a shout out to OMG It's Kavi for actually letting this uh, comment down in my comment section. I'll flash it up here on the screen real quick. It's actually a pretty big comment, um, but he told me about what some other people are doing, and I actually want to give it a try myself. Uh, so we're going to quickly collect up all the berries and ingredients here from the Pokemon that we have out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Pokemon box... We're gonna actually go into the regular Pokemon box. We're gonna find the right Eevee, then we're gonna evolve it into a Jolteon. And Jolteon has uh, the main skill Extra Helpful S. Uh, so with that, it is super helpful. Um, and I think I'm gonna do this one because it does have a skill level up M and a main skill chance. So, we actually do need a couple more candies. Get them both. So then we can evolve to the Jolteon. So in doing this here, uh, the extra helpful S is gonna help in a way uh, that what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically more or less stop hitting any progress with the Snorlax that we have currently. Um, and we're gonna start using our electric team uh, including this Jolteon. So once uh, the rest of our electric team is fully maxed on uh, capacity for what they can carry, uh, if Jolteon skill triggers, uh, it can actually let them carry more than what their capacity is. Uh, so then we can actually start the week off Monday uh, with a team that is fully, fully stocked um, on berries and ingredients. So. We're gonna give this a go here. We're gonna to go to edit teams now. And we're, we already have our team set up. This is gonna be our electric team so far. Uh, Dedenne would be in there. However, we just have not found a good Dedenne yet. Um, and we've only actually gotten our one Dedenne so far. Um, but we do need Jolteon here. We're gonna select that. We're gonna use this team. And then we are going to start the week off like this here, guys. So um, technically, we are already starting off the Raikou event week now. Uh, so we're just going to start getting as much progress as we can. Um, we're not going to be collecting any more berries and ingredients from any Pokemon other than Jolteon because our main uh, point is just trying to get Jolteon's skill to trigger and trying to get that extra helpful S on to all of the other Pokemon. So we'll be back with the sleep session right after this. All right, guys, we're back now with the sleep session here. We're gonna log ourselves in here, connect up to the Go Plus Plus. We're gonna see what we can get ourselves today. So hopefully, hopefully our new strategy is actually gonna work with this Jolteon. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that it does. But we'll be able to see that here uh, in just a minute after we uh, find everything that's going on here with our sleep session. So we got 10 hours, 45 minutes for a 100 sleep score. I'm going to assume probably another slumbering type. Oh, we actually got dozing type. Wow. All right, so we got the dozing type. How much drowsy power are we going to get here? Because I know it's probably not going to be too, too much from yesterday. So 47 million. We do have an Atop Belly Sleeper. Still don't have all eight Pokemon spawning in. Only got seven. But that's all right. Obviously, we are not going to find ourselves a Dedenne today. However, we do have a Weeping Bell Atop Belly. We got the Prime Ape and the Mankey down here. Ooh, we got a new Altaria sleep. That's pretty cool. Got an Ekans and a Chikorita. Who's on the other side? Another Mankey. 
just chilling up there in the corner by himself. Well, probably up there too, I guess, but let's go ahead and snap all the photos here. <clears throat> Honestly, I really don't know who I'm going to recruit, if anybody, because uh, I really only, I'm pretty sure I only have the bonus biscuit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really don't know who I'm going to recruit. I guess it's going to depend on on who's probably hungry or not. Feather Nestled Sleep. That's the one star Altaria Sleep. We've definitely seen an Altaria before. What, what was it? A two star? Ah, yeah. Two star sleep. Okay. Very interesting. Let's go. Studied all of the gathered Pokemon. I'll take it. Mankey's hungry. Okay. I guess we might be going after the Mankey then. Um, cause like I said, guys, we have no biscuits whatsoever. Um, it does look out like, however, the Raikou research bundles are here now. So, I mean, let's just see 250, you get four pokey biscuits, a friend incense and 25 Raikou main. You can buy three of those, uh, for 1200 diamonds. You can get six great biscuits, a good camp ticket. 30 Raikou candies and 100 Raikou main. And then for three, and you can only buy one of those, 3,000 diamonds though, you can also only buy one of these, uh, 15 great biscuits, four friend incenses, uh, three dream cluster M's, 60 Raikou candies, and 200 Raikou mains. So again, also remember too, that uh, some of the bundles uh, for the following week, uh, will be slightly a little bit cheaper as far as um, the Raikou mains go. Um, so if you guys don't get a whole lot of Raikou mains throughout the week, and you guys do end up deciding to want to buy some next week, uh, they will be... <laughs> they be listening. They be like, you don't have no Pokey Biscuits? Here you go. We're going to help you out. Times three? We got times three Pokey Biscuits? That's crazy. I've literally only ever seen w times one Pokey Biscuit. That's crazy from the daily gift. Times three Pokey Biscuits. That's crazy. Okay, well, that helps us out. Uh, we have three Pokey Biscuits now. That kind of that kind of changes it up a little bit. Uh, I mean, not really, though, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, not really a whole lot. I mean, granted, we could maybe grab the Ekans as well, but I, I feel like there's not really a point in that. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for the Mankey. I think we're going to keep our, our three extra biscuits for next week. We'll just instant recruit the Mankey with the bonus biscuit. Seems good enough to me. Made some serious strides. Eh, maybe. Uh, I kind of want the Altaria sleep. I feel like that one's pretty cool. I mean, I kind of wish we had an electric type Pokemon in there. Eh, yeah, we'll do the Altaria. Alright. Um, let's go. Okay, we got 2300 research exp 4700 dream shards all right let's check out our maggie here level 12 brave nature it's a berries type pokemon we got skill level up m with helping speed m inventory up s helping speed s Inventory up L. Speed of help is up. Eh, I mean, this one's not too bad, honestly. <clears throat> this one's not too bad at all. I mean, the only thing I feel like it, it's really missing is obviously Berry Finding S. Uh, I mean, if it had Berry Finding S instead of the uh, skill level up, I think this thing would be absolutely cracked probably 
uh, but it does not have that, so it's still not bad of a Mankito, but I definitely already have a better one that has the berry finding ass, so let's go ahead, head back to Lapis Lake side here though, let's see how the team is doing. We got 13,000 sneaky snacking. <clears throat> Which obviously isn't going to do a whole lot for this Snorlax. Um, just because... Oh, and we also do have the Good Sleep Day happening right now. Uh, this is the first day of the Good Sleep Day event. Will be tonight. So that'll be interesting. So tomorrow night is going to be uh, multiplied by four. So that's going to be that's gonna be pretty crazy. Um, Alright, so I do want to get the missions here real quick. Looks like we got 14 biscuits. Still have a couple other things in there as well. All right. Let's go to the shops. We were already in the shops though, so I'm assuming it's probably just for, yeah. It's just to show us that the uh, Raikou research bundles are here. So those are here now. Go check them out. Alright, and then on top of that, I think what we're going to do as well is get our sleep pass points. And we're going to go check out the research community here real quick. <clears throat> and then we'll kind of get into what our team is doing. So we got the 200 sleep pass points, <clears throat> and update contents version 1.4.1, interesting. Uh, so I'm assuming that these are just uh, bug fixes, which is what it says there. Um, <clears throat> some people unfortunately were not able to uh, log into the game, which I'm assuming it, that is what the bug fixes are for, because uh, <clears throat> some people just straight up were not able to log in anymore it was just like the game was gone <laughs> so i'm happy that they did get that fixed uh and people are able to play again now we got 29 new reports here shout out pretty jazz let's go <clears throat> got us some ingredient tickets there let's quickly make sure everybody is within a day do we have anybody within three days nope Everybody is within a day. That's awesome to see. Super awesome to see. Okay, let's head back though. <clears throat> let's take a look at what the team is doing now. So again, like I said, we're, we're basically more or less just trying to get Jolteon's skill to trigger now. Um, so we're not collecting any berries and ingredients. We can still collect berries and ingredients from the Nightcap Pikachu because it doesn't really apply to it. Um, but we're not collecting any berries and ingredients from anybody else. So as you can see, like, I'm pretty sure that Pikachu is probably maxed on inventory. Ampharos is probably also maxed on inventory now. Um, I'm assuming both of these Raichus are probably also the same. Their skills are all triggering though. I don't want their skills to trigger though. I would like, I would like, uh the Jolteon skill to trigger and it didn't <laughs> um, so hopefully we can actually get Jolteon skill to trigger throughout the day here uh, <clears throat> because basically with leave with leaving all of their inventories full uh, and then with applying Jolteon's uh, main skill to their full inventories basically uh, it's going to allow them to carry more so <clears throat> With Jolteon's skill, uh, you get the extra helpful S, uh, which is currently actually at level 4. Since we evolved it from an EV, it went up a level, then plus skill level up M, uh, took it up another 2 levels. So, <clears throat> this instantly gets you times 8 the usual help from a helper Pokemon. So, once their inventory is maxed, like it already is, uh, we are then going to get times 8 extra help 
uh, from that Pokemon. So they should essentially be able to carry uh, times eight more uh, of what their uh, carry limit is. Now, that's not always necessarily, you know, because that's going to be a huge, huge carry limit. Uh, so that's not always necessarily going to say that that's exactly how that works. Uh, but it is going to help you out uh, get more or less more past their carry limit. Uh, which is the, the big beneficial factor for this. So <clears throat> we're going to let the team out here again still for the rest of the day. Uh, hopefully they can just continue to do what they're doing. And hopefully we can get Jolteon's skill to trigger uh, some today. Because that would just be awesome if it did. Um, but that is going to basically wrap it up for today, guys. Like I said, we're more or less just starting uh, the preparation for the electric type event uh or i should say the raikou event not the electric type event that was last week this is this coming week the raikou event um but so yeah this should be super super awesome uh hopefully we can't get jolteon skill to trigger hopefully we do actually get the the extra help on some of these other extra pokemon so that we can start next week off with a crazy crazy big number uh, so that is going to do it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.